What's up, family? And welcome to a Laugh and Workout Loud workout with me, Teddy Savage. And if you don't know already, this week is all about funny theme workouts that look back and laugh off all of the blunders and bloopers from our home work ends in 2020. And let me tell you, there were quite a few. But we're also going to celebrate all of the things that we were able to do together and triumph over during a very challenging year. Now, for those of us that live with little ones, just like myself, you know that 2020 bought a lot. And I'm talking about a lot of quality time together. And I'm not going to lie, it was super fun, but it definitely added an element of difficulty to getting a workout in at home. But because your fitness is essential, we found a way. That's right, baby. And sometimes the only thing that got us through was a big smile, a big old laugh from your belly, and just a sense of positivity. And avoiding those toys on the floor, like the ones you see right here, and doing curls while actually caring for the kids is just a few of the things that we conquered together through our home workings in 2020. You want to know what else we were able to do? We discovered a new skill set. That's right, one that we didn't even know we had. And I'm talking about multitasking to the highest degree. Not just ordinary multitasking. I'm talking about juggling a bunch of things at one time. While standing on one leg with one eye closed, both hands behind your back while spinning in a circle, baby. That type of multitasking. But you know what? We stood tall. No matter what was thrown at us, we prevailed and we did so with a smile on our face. So today is going to be all about bringing that back and smiling about it. And I know I'm not the only one with funny stories. So if you have one to share, please go ahead and drop it in the comments. That way we know we went through this thing together, baby. But you know what the golden rule is. Before any great workout, we got to start with a great warm up. So let's get cooking, baby. And I'm literally talking about cooking because this is how I started every morning for those homework ends in 2020. The first thing is coffee pot, right? I got to get my cup of joe. So I want you to stand with your feet about hip width apart. Extend your arms sort of parallel to the ground and act like you have a coffee pot in your right hand. You're going to pour the coffee into your cup, change it over to your opposite arm and do the same motion in that one. And let me tell you, before every morning, coffee was number one primo essential priority because I needed all of the energy I could have, baby. And I like my coffee strong, right? And I'm talking about a little bit of creamer, maybe a little bit of honey for the sweetness, but I need all of the caffeine to keep me going. Keep going. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Go ahead and put that coffee pot down. The next order of business for me was to check my email. But I couldn't just check my emails. I had to squat down, check those emails, and stand up and make sure the kids were getting ready for school. So that's what we're going to do right now. Ready? Let's squat. Check those emails. You're checking and you're clacking. Stand up. Hey, you guys getting ready for school? All right, come on down. You're checking those emails, right? Because you probably got a whole lot of them from the night. Hey, make sure you brush your teeth, wash your face. Here we go. So we're checking those emails, making sure that we squat back, heels down, chest up. And you got to raise your head up. You got to peacock and make sure, hey, you got one sock on, one sock off. Come on, here we go. So we're checking it right here. We're checking those emails. Squat, stand up. Make sure you get your brother and your sister ready to go to school. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three. Last time, two, one. Outstanding. And it's funny, but it's so, so true. I was checking emails while making sure the kids were ready. But the next thing is always breakfast, okay? I'm a French toast kind of guy, but they like pancakes. So it was all about pancakes, right? But it wasn't just pancakes. It was pancakes. Then it was eggs. And it was bacon. And it was fruit. Here we go. It was pancakes. Then it was eggs. And it was bacon. And it was fruit. Come on, do the skate. Pancakes. And then bacon. Eggs. And then it's fruit, baby. Here we go. Pancakes. Eggs. Bacon. Fruit. They didn't care if I like French toast. It was pancakes. And it was bacon. I like sausage. Eggs. And fruit, baby. You got to have a fruit. Pancakes. Eggs. Bacon. Fruit. We're going to explode side to side. Forward and back. Was good. Here we go. Pancakes. Eggs. Bacon and fruit, baby. That's right. We had a hey, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So I had to make sure that the kids were good with all of their nutrients to give them all the energy they need. And the last thing, well, you got to get them logged in. So we got to dash it out, right? You got multiple kids in your house. So you got to go get this one logged in. So you got you got 20 login passwords for 25 different platforms. So it's a lot. So you're here and that's that multitasking. This kid is all right. So we're back. Right, now we gotta go to this one. You got, that's ELA, uh -huh. long one. All caps were on on the first one. All caps, you know you're not gonna have that password. So you in there, he's logged in. Okay, I'm here. I'm here, I got my blood flowing in through my nose. 
I'll do my now. Here we go. Oh, back over here. Got to get her logged in. And finally, finally, I had my coffee. I checked my emails. I got them breakfast. They're logged in. Now I can actually start my work day. And this is how we're going to start our work day today. We're going to do a couple of toy truck tricep extensions. That's right. Because in 2020, home work days, you had to use whatever you had at your disposal. So I'll use these bad boys. All right. And you know what I'm going to do? I'll do it from a knee or from a seated position. That way you can do whatever you feel comfortable doing, standing up from a knee or from a seat. Five, four, three, two, one. I'll be here and I'm just going to keep my elbows in and extend those arms above my head, right? This is working my triceps. And you want to know what else is doing? It's giving me the opportunity to straighten up these toys a little bit, right? And again, multitasking to the highest degree. I'm getting my triceps ready for motion, and this is a good push exercise. We push these things above our head. Anything you do where you push or press something away from your body, you're gonna be engaging these tricep muscles. So even if you're doing it with toys, pillows, water bottles, or weights, you're using it right here just the same. Smile big, five, four, three, two, one, run, and relax, baby. Hey, listen, I used to love these toys when I was a kid, right? I'll put them back, right? And here's the thing. We're all big kids at the end of the day. The next one is GI Commando Walks, okay? So I want you to squat down, three-quarter squat. We're going to take one, two, three, squat. Then three, two, one, squat down. Come on in. One, two, three, squat down. Three, two, one. Give me a three-quarter squat. Now, we call these Commando Walks, right? So you want to imagine it yourself. You're fighting through everything that we had to fight through together in 2020 to prevail victorious. And guess what we did? Exactly that. We were victorious. So you guys are commandos. I'm a commando. And if you have a weight, you want to add some intensity, go ahead and grab that weight. Maybe keep those toy trucks in your hand. But guess what? Keep smiling. Keep shining. Because today, that's what it's all about. Keep moving. Three, two, one and relax outstanding and hey listen gi no matter what you're doing if you're moving you get your heart health going and your heart is number one the next one is toy soldiers but it's almost like a remote control so get those hands up we're going to do like the robot here here one two three four if you want to have some fun with it you can act like you're a remote control toy soldier here we go three one let's get cooking this is really good for those hamstrings. Get your chest up. Eyes up. Smile big. All right, remote control. I'm going here. Boom. Here. Battery operated or not. Right? Here we go. Keep going. I got it. Keep moving. Keep grooving. And here's the thing. When you're back home and you're in your kid's playroom and you're doing any type of movement, you know unpredictable things happen, right? All right? But we got to be ready. That's what life is all about. It's doing what we can to triumph over unpredictable moments. So keep moving, keep grooving. If you want to move around, keep going. Exhale on effort. Three, two, one, and relax. Great job. So remember those unpredictable moments? Let me go ahead and fix my mat because in my dashing, it up a bit, but we're here. Okay, so now you can also see that I have blocks on the ground. The kids like to say the blocks are lava, so I got to dodge them. So that's fast feet, move around. I can't hit the block because the kids will tell me, if you hit the block, you're out. And I can't be out, right? I gotta be on my toes. I'm dodging, I'm here and there. If you see me hit a block, you drop it in the comments and say, Teddy, you're out. But I'm here, I'm moving, I'm grooving. Up, on the toes, back, keep moving, side to side, side to side. And it's getting good blood flow to my joints and my lower body. I'm getting my arms rotating. So this upper body as well. I'm breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. Keep that in the blocks. I'm here, up, back, three, two, one, and relax. I tell you what, all of that fast speed definitely worked up a thirst for me. And when I get thirsty, I love drinking pineapple juice, baby. It's sweet, it's refreshing, gets me going. Whoa, okay, kids. All right, so you're just gonna take the toys. What is this, you want me to put this on? <laughs> leave it to the kids 
to bring out the most embarrassing stuff when you're doing a Facebook joint. So I had to do it because if I don't, she's not going to let me live it down. So I'm going to go ahead and put this tiara on, but I don't want any jokes in the comments. All right. And I'm back. And this, the tutu, we'll save that one for later because we can't give you everything at one time. All right. But we're back in it. It's time to get some more work in. So this next one, we're going to use some stuffed animals. I'm going to do a stuffy shoulder press, okay? Go ahead and grab your stuffed animal if you got one close by. Or if you got a kid that's coming in, you can go ahead and press them up too. But I'll have her unicorn stuffy right here. Elbows in. Let's go. 40 seconds. We're going to bring it here to your chest height, extend it above your head. And as you can see, I'm doing it from my knees. You can do it from a seated position right here just make sure your legs are at 90 degrees elbows stay in you're going to be using your shoulders right and again pressing it away from my body so you're also engaging triceps like we talked about at the beginning and if you're standing oh baby we're here elbows in eyes forward exhale on effort breathe out and then good job good job we got 10 seconds remember finish stronger than you started just like we had all 2020 three Two, one, and relax. Outstanding job. I'm going to put Miss Unicorn down. I'm going to get this tiara right back over to ZZ over here. Here you go, Z. <laughs> and I'll grab that Planet Fitness purple because I love the purple. So this next one, I'm going to invite you guys to get to know Larry the Lizard, okay? Let me show you Larry the Lizard. So this is Larry the lizard right here this little guy and you want to know his favorite movement is leaps he loves to jump he loves to leap so we're going to do some squat jumps with larry the lizard here here we go three two one let's go i want you down in a deep squat and then larry the lizard hop this thing up right here and if it starts burning you just smile and say larry baby this is for you right now notice i'll show you from the side my butt is back my chest is up my back is straight I'm not coming all the way up before I leave the ground. So I'm three quarter squat and up just slightly. This keeps time under tension. Because Larry the Lizard knows time under tension is a great way to develop muscles. So we're here and it's burning so good. And I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. Good, keep pressing. Drive those heels down into the ground. Hop slowly, three, two, one, and relax. Outstanding job. Hey Larry. That one felt good. I'm gonna let you go back. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these, these toys over the shoulder and try to get them into the toy basket behind me because we gotta clean them up, right? So three, two, one. What I wanna do is squat down just like this and over the shoulder to work my obliques, my abdominal chain and get my hip flexors engaged as well. So I get another couple of blocks. We're going to squat, toss it over the shoulder. I think I made that one. Squat, toss it over the opposite shoulder. Don't know if I made that one. And again, multitasking at its finest. I'm trying to clean up and work. Right here. All right, didn't make that one. I can tell you that much. Keep moving. I got my blocks here. Smile, baby. Smile big. Squat down. We got balls coming in randomly. ZZ's trying to clean up too. Five seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, and relax. Oh, baby, let me see how many I made. I didn't quite make all of them in, but this next exercise is called clean it up as quickly as possible. So if you're home or if you're at the gym and you don't have anything to clean up, just jog in place for me. But I tell you what, I'm going to try to do this in record time. So go ahead and get your stopwatches ready. All right, I got my Planet Fitness socks on, super tight, ready for that super sauce that I'm about to bring right now. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, let's clean them up. All right, so I got one. I I'm gonna make it hard on myself. I'll do one at a time. One at a time, so squat down. This is another thing. When you're at home and you're doing laundry, make sure you sink your hips and don't just bend over like that because that'll strain your back. From here, drop my hips, drop my hips. Keep me going. Right? And listen, I'm going to try to multitask and now do two at one time. Halfway through, right? This thing is going to be clean before the missus gets home. That's the main objective. Get it all clean before the big boss gets back. So I'm here. Uh, uh, and it's going to be almost like it never happened. 
Right, Zizi? Almost like it never happened. And she's not lifting a finger over there. Here we go. Three, two, voila. As you can see, it's almost like it never happened. And so now that it's clean enough, I'm not saying it's spick and span, but it's clean enough. And hopefully when you're back at home and you get it all cleaned up and the kids are away, they go to sleep. And when they go to sleep, you know the rule is this. Talk as slowly and as lowly as you possibly can and make no noise whatsoever. So that's what we're going to do in the next two circuits. We want to try to keep the volume low, but keep the effectiveness up. How about that? So the next exercise, make sure they sleep. The next exercise is bite size bicep curls. So I get two small items back here. You go ahead and grab two small ones yourself. All right, I got two small ones right here. And again, I'm going to do it from a kneeling position so I don't stand up and make the floor creak and wake the kids up. All right, so we're going to have our palms out, squeeze the biceps. Come on in with me, okay? As a matter of fact, let's work on some time and attention. So while we have a small weight, and it's not really heavy, the time and attention, or the time that you're squeezing the muscle right here, and then releasing the muscle, we wanna elongate that time so we'll still get effective work in the muscle. Again, that's called time under tension. Now, opposed to the push motion, this is a pulling motion because I'm pulling these small items, these bite-sized items up towards my chest. And anytime I'm pulling something up, my groceries, I'm using my biceps and my back muscles. So I'm squeezing. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, baby. And I want to go crazy because it felt so effective, but I'm definitely not waking those kids up so they run through. Here we go. The next one is going to be slow-mo squat holds, okay? So we got to be up on our feet for this one. What we'll do is three, two, one. One, two, three. Up. You guys ready? Come on in. Three, two, one. Hold it for three. Three, two, one. And up. Good. One, two, three. Time on attention. Three, two, one. And up from the side. All right. Make sure your butt is back. Your heels are flat. Your chest is straight. Come back up. You're going to feel us in those quads, which are right here. Your glutes and your hamstrings. Hold it. Come on up nice and slow. Good job. Again, make sure form and technique. But again, most importantly, let's keep this thing on, this, on a hush hush. Hold it. We got about five seconds left. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Best rep. That's what I'm talking about. That was so good. I'm telling you, I can feel you. Even though I can't hear you or see you. Let me put my bite side items back. All right. As a matter of fact, putting them in a the switcher. Now we're going to plank and then go into a London bridge, okay? So from a plank position, elbows under your shoulders, pushing my hips back and returning to plank position. You ready to add the sauce? Here we go. Push those hips up, come back into plank position. That's the London bridge, baby. Squeeze your glutes. Belly button to your spine. Finish stronger than we started. So I have my elbows under my shoulders. All right, let's finish strong. Keep going. Here we go. Last couple of reps. Relax, baby. So good. So good, okay. So now what we're going to do is tiptoe over the hurdle under the hurdle okay so i'm not gonna make noise at all as a matter of fact if you were ever young and you were trying to sneak and maybe get a snack <laughs> at nighttime you know this motion you're stepping over things you're keeping it nice and quiet you're gonna get under and get to that refrigerator right let's go so shh, nice and quiet make sure we don't wake the kids if you were a kid you were like let's make sure not to wake mom and dad so stepping over and in your mind you're like Hey, what were we going up here to get again? And sometimes it's a juice. Sometimes it's a tasty treat, right? But at the end of the day, you got to be quiet. And this is really good for my hip flexor, my range of motion through those hips, okay? I'm going to drive my knee up, right? Landing softly to minimize impact, right? And then we slide down. Good. So it's over the hurdle, right? And then under. Slide and drop my butt down. 
keep my chest pronounced. Last one up, slide underneath and relax. Now I don't know about you, when I was a kid, I had more successful missions getting to the refrigerator than I did getting caught because I was very slow, very cautious, made minimal noise. So the next exercise, we're gonna use those plastic blocks, do a couple of chest flies for those pectoral muscles. All right, you go ahead and grab something too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start on the ground. So get a nice comfortable spot. We're gonna have your back on the mat. As you can see, I have my puzzle pieces and we're just gonna open and close like we're hugging a big oak tree. Now you don't wanna strain your neck. So make sure you place your head flat. You keep your eyes up. This is called having a good neutral spine. Exhale as you squeeze, inhale as you resist. And again, even though we're not making a lot of noise, we're getting super effective work for our chest muscles. And this is important because these are part of the push muscle group. So we did shoulders, triceps, and now chest. These muscles combine to do push motions, right? I'm pushing or pressing these weights together. Good, exhale on effort, inhale on resistance. Five, four, three, two, last rep, best rep. Oh baby, oh baby, that felt so good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is stay on the ground, stay right there, don't make any noise, just watch me. What we're gonna do is a glute bridge into a walkout for the glutes and hamstrings. Check it out. So we're gonna be in the same position. What I'll do is have my glutes tight and my hips up. I'm gonna walk out one, two on my heels, walk back in, one, two. All while keeping my hips up, one, two, back in, one, two. This is really good for your glutes right here and your hamstrings that run along the back of your legs. Right here, one, two, back up, one, two. Try to keep those hips up as high as you possibly can. Try to make a straight line from your shoulders to your hips to your knee. Good, walk them out, one, two, back, one, two. Engage your core, belly button to your spine. We're more than halfway done. Let's finish strong, guys, finish strong. we hit one, two, hamstrings, one, two, glutes. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, baby. Oh, it felt so good, so good, because those muscles, those muscles we call the go muscles. You don't really see them too much, but they're responsible for a lot of motion, okay? So now what we're gonna do is a banana hold, because I love bananas, and this hold is really good for your core. I'll keep my blocks in hand to add difficulty. So now what we wanna do is just start on the ground. We'll raise our arms up about six inches, raise our feet six inches, and we're kinda like in a banana. And we're gonna hold right here. For a modification, drop one of your legs, and the opposite arm, and still, you're still in a banana, but you're using an, a modification to listen to your body. And 2020 was all about listening to your body, listening to your mind, making sure you did what was good for your situation. Hold it here, and you know what, baby? We're here together, doing banana holds, <laughs> on laugh and work out loud week. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. Who would have known, right? But I love it. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but here. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. Obey. I bet you never look at a banana the same way again. But that's enough for that, right? Let's put our blocks quietly back into the toy bin. Our last exercise we have is called pencil rolls. It looks funny, but it's really good for your core. So I want you to lay out flat. Hands out. Legs back, and we're gonna pencil roll. Pencil roll all the way to your right, and then come all the way back to your left. This is really good for your lower back, your abdominal chain, right? And you're really squeezing. Try not to push off with your hands or your legs, but using your core to generate motion. And this is called a pencil roll. And I know it looks funny, but old baby is effective. And I'm going. And this is another way that I make sure I don't wake the kids up when they go to sleep. I'm pencil rolling all the way, all the way through the living room and dining room, baby. I'm here, good. Keep moving, keep grooving, baby. We're here, four, three, two, one, and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, 
Well, that was too much. But that was amazing. Now it's time for the cool down. And once we cool down, then I'm going to let out so much jubilation. I don't even care if the kids wake up because we finished that together. All right. So we're here on the ground. Stay on both knees or you can do it from the seated position. Take your right arm, cross it across your body. Pull it towards yourself. And love on yourself, baby. And remember, drop those funny stories in the comments because I can't wait to read them. Because I know I wasn't the only one pistol rolling around the dining room. Right? We're here. And even if you did the tiptoe march, if you had to clean up the toys as much as possible, as quick as possible, I want to know about it. Three, two, one. Outstanding. So, looks like the kids are already up. So, we can talk out loud again. So, now let me take my right hand, put it behind my back. I'll grab my left elbow and pull it, giving myself a pat on the back. Because even though the kids woke up, we had a good time looking back over 2020, laughing at the adversity that we went through because you know what? It didn't stop. Let's switch. Hold it, chest up, chin up. Three, two, one, and relax. And since we're right here on the knee, I have my right leg forward. What I wanna do is put my heel down, straighten that leg, and I wanna reach down and try to grab my toe and pull it back towards my body. This is a really good stretch for my hamstrings and calves. So hold it, breathe in and out. And remember guys, 2020 is a great time for us to reflect on how strong we are, both physically and mentally. Now let's switch sides, okay? Let's do this one as well. So we wanna hold here, making sure that our leg is straight, heel down, toes back. And we wanna pull it back towards our body. Really stretching the hamstring and the calf, which is part of what we call a posterior chain. The muscles that support the back side of your body. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Now stand right here on our knees, or if you're standing up, you can do it as well. Take your hands, place them right here on your hips, and push them through. This is a really good stretch for your hip, hip flexors, your low back right here, and the top of your quad, or the muscle that runs along the front of your leg. So we're here. Push, chest up, smiling big. So breathe in. We got three, two, one, and relax, family. That was so much fun. And you know what I know? The funniest part about it is I know at least some of us could identify with at least one of those scenarios, no matter what it was. But ultimately, like we said, we made it here to the end. We can look back and we can laugh. And I want to say a special thank you to all of you out there viewing right now and joining us for this week of Laugh and Work Out Loud moments, where we look back at 2020 home workings and we laugh it all the way through. Now, if you missed it, this time, don't worry about it. We're gonna be here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to relive all of those funny moments. And if it doesn't jive with the schedule, you can always come back to Facebook and check us out there, or better yet, download the Planet Fitness app because that way you can see these workouts and much, much more. But it doesn't stop there because I want you to get ready to break away from 2020 and see with Planet Fitness to step into 2021 with grace and style, baby. That's right, grace and style. Until then, love yourself. Love each other. Peace.